Hello everybody, I want to show you this video 10 first things to do for the Redmi Note 11 Pro and 11 Pro 5G. The first thing I want to show you is uh, about the display because uh, I don't know if you have seen it, uh, you can have uh, 120 Hz here with the display, but the default setting are just 60 Hz. Let me show you how you can change this. So for that, we need to scroll down right next to the camera, so right next to the camera, just scroll down like this, and then you have a control center. And the part of the control center is the setting symbol here, so just tap on the settings. And here we will need the point display. And if we scroll down a bit, we will have here the refresh rate. So, as I said, the default settings are just 60 Hz. If you want, you can have the 120 Hz. It is much more smooth and so on, but it takes a lot of energy. So just use it if you're watching something or if you're playing games and so on, then it is much better for your eyes. Huh? But if you're just reading text and so on, you should change later into the 60 Hz again. Uh, what I do because uh, that saves energy and we should think about our planet. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is also for our eyes and especially for the evening because um, especially if everything is dark around us uh, and we have a very wide screen, it, it is not so good for the eyes as you can imagine. And uh, let me show you how you can enable this feature. So let me go back here one step, then I'm back in the display settings and on the top of the display settings, we will have here the color scheme. And um, basically we have the light mode, we have actually um, uh, enabled here. Uh, but if you enable the dark mode, everything what was white before becomes dark. And that is uh, very great because first of all, this saves energy, uh, as also nice. And uh, as I said, especially in the evening, if it's dark, it's better for the eyes. Um, on the day, I would recommend to you to take the light mode because uh, if there's a lot of sunlight and so on with dark mode, it doesn't work so well. You can't see so well on your screen. And uh, you can schedule it that it's always available in the evening automatically. If you tap now here on scheduled dark mode, turn on scheduled dark mode, and then we have it enabled that uh, if the sun sets, the dark mode turn on, and if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. And the same thing you can do also with another nice tool because uh, also pretty, pretty nice for the eyes is a blue light filter because uh, the blue light is really disturbing our eyes and gives our eyes stress and so on. And that could affect at latest the sleep if you don't enable it in the evening. So the blue light filter is named uh, reading mode here at Redmi. So and here we will need the reading mode, turn it on, and here we will need the classic mode. As you can see, the color of the screen has changed a bit and with a bit of yellow touch and so on. And uh, if you go here on the arrow, uh, you can change also the intensity, the opacity of it. And uh, as more warm it is, it, as better it is for the eyes. It is very unusual at the beginning, but uh, you get used to, I really recommend this feature to you and at latest in the evening. And uh, if you say, okay, I just want to have it in the evening, just go here on chat shoot. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this in the video, what you should do at first, so chat shoot is uh, to have it at latest in the evening. And here go also on the good night suite, that means from sunset to sunrise. Okay, and if we are still here in the display settings, uh, there's also for the eyes something, uh, it is the text size. Because if you increase it a bit, so let's take the text size here. If you increase it a bit, it uh, yeah, it's it also is good for the eyes, especially um, if you uh, getting older. Uh, so let's take the L size uh, because that is not too much. And uh, yeah, if I go out now, you see that everything becomes a bit bigger here, the settings, and it affects as well here also the notifications. Uh. Please take care if you make it too large, then uh, the notifications, uh, you cannot read the forecasts and so on. So the previews, so I'm sorry. So you cannot read well the previews uh, because it's too large than the text size. And uh, yeah. And what I want to show you also, you can clone apps with this phone. So that means that you can have uh, two Facebook accounts on the phone without switching always in the same app. No, you can have a second app for. Same thing also with WhatsApp. You can have two WhatsApp accounts on the phone and then why not? You can insert two SIM cards. Why not having uh, one WhatsApp account 
for each number. Let me show you how this works. So, okay, for that, we need to go to the settings. Zack, zack. And then we will need to go to the point apps here. Go on apps. And here we have the point dual apps. Okay, for the very first time, you have to, yeah, I got it. And also on create this feature. And then you will have all the apps here which are supported for that feature. Now these are the recommended ones now. So let us create here a second WhatsApp. Turn it on, turn it on. Then it's creating the dual app for WhatsApp. And we will do the same also for Facebook and Instagram. By the way, Instagram, also, this feature is also available on other phones, but Instagram doesn't work at other phones. So tell me uh, that it's very great here at Redmi and so on. And you can also uh, create also second Amazon apps. If you say, okay, I have two Amazon accounts or I want to uh, do it for another person without uh, uh, removing my first account here. So you can also clone Amazon. Let's clone Amazon just like that. And so, so much more as you can see. Same also with Spotify and so on and TikTok and Netflix and... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go now to the apps. Let's have a look how it looks like. This is my main WhatsApp account as you can see here. And this is my second one. Uh, um, the same also with uh, Facebook. Where is my main Facebook app? Is my main Facebook app. Uh, and here's my second one. As you can see, you always can recognize the second app here with the orange corner. Uh, so main Instagram second one, as you can see. And um, now you can do the stuff uh, you want to do um, at your second app. Um, a very useful tool and also Amazon here. No? Amazon, my main Amazon account, and here's my second one. So a very great tool. Yeah, the next thing I want to show you is also pretty cool because it's saving energy. Huh? Uh, let me show you what I mean because you can power off the phone automatically and that saves uh, energy at first. Huh? And second is uh, you have a better sleep because uh, it doesn't disturb in the night because the phone turns off automatically and you don't feel also if you wake up a bit in the night to don't go directly to your phone because you have to on it first and so on that's too much stress uh, so you should really try this um, let me show you how you can enable this feature so just go here on the point security this is the green icon here with a flash in it and yeah we agree all terms and conditions and uh, then we need to go to the battery. And by the way, this is also an interesting point because um, we can have a look here, uh, which app is taking the most um, energy here. And basically it is normally uh, the screen and so on. And you can see also when you have charged your phone and so on and how long, for how long it is active and so on. But we want to have now here at the top, the battery mode. Here the, battery safer and here we have the battery mode just go on battery and then we have here the point schedule power on off and then you can schedule here a power off time and um, what is also very nice you can chat, uh, you can set up also um, a repeating time because uh, maybe you don't work only at weekdays you work also maybe on, on weekend and so on and you can set up the time where the phone should turn off automatically because basically you have a regular time where you will to bed and so on. So I really recommend uh, this uh, feature. And the same thing, you can also set up a automatic power on time. So that means if your alarm rings and so on, the phone can turn on automatically at the same time and then you can have a look uh, for new messages and so on. Okay, the next feature I want to show you is uh, a sidebar because the phone is very large and so on and there's something uh, to enable a sidebar that you have easier access uh, with one hand. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, we have to enable it. So just scroll down here and go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need to go to the point, special features. That sounds always nice. And the first point here is sidebar. And if you enable a sidebar now, so go on always show, ne? enable always show. And then we will see here this little sidebar. Whenever I swipe it in, I have quick access to my favorite apps. So very well, if you're left-handed, you're on the left side, uh, 
because you can reach everything and you can also enable just with one hand and so on. If you are right handed, I would recommend to you to scroll down a bit here at this area and go here on the toolbox position. And if you put it on the right side, you will have it now on the right and same thing. Yeah? So very cool. And uh, if you use it with one, if you want to use the phone with one hand, there's another cool feature I really recommend to you. Um, for that, just go back one step and another step so that they're back in the general settings. Then go here to the point additional settings and here we will have the point one handed mode. So that is a mini screen. No? As we can see here, that is a mini screen. If I turn it on, then um, I need the navigation bar now to enable this. Um, if I go like this here, I make it for left-handed people. And now I can do, by the way, all the stuff I want to do. I can even play games here. No? So it's a the, the phone is still working, but just with this mini screen and so on. No? And uh, by the way, um, if you want to uh, yeah, go back to the regular mode, just tap you on the outside and you're always back at the regular mode. If you're uh, right-handed, just go here from the inside to the arrow here, like this, huh? go like this, go like this. Ah, yes. It requires a bit training, as you can see, so one more time, go from the inside to the outside here, like this at the navigation bar. And um, yeah, then you have it here on the other side for right-handed people. And so same thing. By the way, pretty, pretty cool is also that the outside here is black because that saves energy at the same time, no? because uh, the phone is turning off some pixels. The reason why the dark mode is saving energy, by the way. And if I tap now here on the outside, I'm back in the regular mode. And there's another uh, nice uh, tool I want to share with you because uh, you um, have some uh, button shortcuts and um, you have uh, the opportunity to quick launch the camera. That means if you have a very great moment and so on, you go to the camera and so on, or you look for the camera app and it takes time sometimes and then may you miss your great picture in that moment and uh, for that, um, there's a way also to quick launch the camera. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings, then scroll down again to the point, additional settings, and here we have the point, um, gesture shortcuts. So in this gesture shortcuts, we have the point to launch the camera. And if you tap it, I would recommend to you now to take the first one, double press the power button. And whenever now I double press the power button, I'm immediately at the camera. So, okay, first of all, I have to read something. Yes, the very first time I entered the camera right now, this is the reason why it's asking that. Um, so a very cool tool. Whenever I double press the power button, I'm immediately at the camera. So. A very cool feature and what is also very great also if my phone is on standby and that makes uh, it awesome also if my phone is on standby i just double tap the power button and i'm immediately at the camera and that uh, saves a lot of time because you don't have to unlock the screen first i'm looking for the camera app and so on and hey may this saves your great picture one day and there's another way to have uh, also some more of these uh, shortcuts uh, let me show you where you can find them uh, just scroll in here and go to the symbol for the settings and then there's also a hidden area here at home screen. If you tap now on home screen, you will have here at the point system navigation, at the point button shortcuts. No? First of all, you can uh, choose here uh, the system navigations if you want to have this navigation bar or if you want to uh, make everything with gestures and so on. No? Um, and if you have the buttons here enabled, no? so the navigation bar, then you can also give some button shortcuts. And that means maybe you can give an action if you long press maybe here the back button. No? If you long press the back button, also basically if you press the back button, you go back one step as it says. No? But if you're long pressing the back button, you can give also an action. No? Let's have a look here. Maybe we can on the torch with just one example. No? So that means whenever I long press now the back button, I enable the torch with. Same thing if I long press it again, it will turn off. 
and you can do much more with it or you can combine it also with the power button and um, the back button or the mini button the mini button is this one here for the recent um, tabs and so on so you can do a lot of nice stuff with it. by the way um, if you long press the home button always you have to google assistant as you have seen maybe already but also you can change this here if you want to have another action there or if you want to have no action if you long press it you can do the same thing as well yeah thank you so so much for watching this uh, video i hope i could help you uh, with it uh, to set up your phone and so on and uh, yeah maybe if you want you can leave me also a nice comment or give me a thumbs up that would be very helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and i've created also some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me um, if you haven't done it before uh, thank you so so much for your support and uh, yeah maybe until next time <laughs> ciao